Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to be discussing how to add social login with my listing 1.6.5. So right now we've gone ahead and updated our site and we are running my listing 1.6.5. Uh, sorry for the slow website. It's on a staging server so you have to work with me there. So we have my listing 1.6.5 right here. We also have the child theme, but that's not necessary because we don't actually have it activated. So in order to go ahead and turn the social login on, we're going to navigate to theme options and go under social login. And if you don't have this, you're probably not up to date on your theme. So either update it via FTP or go ahead and delete the theme after you've activated a generic one and then go ahead and re-upload my listing from uh, ThemeForest. Let's do Google first. So we're going to go ahead and turn on this. And it says in order to integrate, you have to have your client ID. Now you can go ahead and obtain one by clicking on this link right here. It's going to go ahead and send you here. From here, it's very simple. You're going to go to this big blue button. You're going to create a new project. I like to call it whatever my website name is. Website name. And then login. So you can keep track of it. Or you could just keep it your website name. You can do that as well. Go ahead and click next. From there, we're going to go ahead and create a product name. So this is where you can do login credentials. All right, and then we'll go ahead and click next. So right now it's configuring the project. It's, it's enabling all of the things that it needs to do on the back end. So right now it's going to ask us, where are we calling from? So we're calling from a web server. So go ahead and choose that option. From here, we're going to type in our authorized redirect URLs. Go back to our website. And we're going to go ahead and go to our website right here. So this is our main domain name right here. Let's go ahead and paste that into there without this part. So it should not have a trailing slash and it should be the entire URL without the, the trailing forward slash. Go ahead and create that. So here is our client ID. We're going to go ahead and copy all of this. Okay, and now we're going to go under the theme options, social login. We're going to go and like I said, we're going to turn this on and we're just going to pop, cop, pick, we're just going to paste our client ID right there and click update. So from here, we're going to go back to our uh, configuration for Google and we can always manage our credentials in the API console. So go ahead and open that up. We're going to navigate to the project folder. You, sh you might only have one, so go there. We're going to go ahead and we're going to Go to our credentials. And then you can see right here it says auto created for Google sign in. This is our client ID. So go ahead and cl click on that. And I'm not sure why it didn't actually put all of our information in there. So we're going to copy and paste this once more right into the authorized JavaScript origins. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of all that extras. So no trailing slash or anything like that. And we're going to click save. And if you feel like it, you can go ahead and copy that again and repaste that in there and just hit update. So as of right now, this should be working. So let's go ahead and try this out. Let's open up a new browser. We're going to go ahead and go to the site in the new browser. And we're going to log into that. So let's go ahead and we're going to sign in and we can either, and we can sign in with Google now. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's click on Google. Just going to bring this up over here. Let's go ahead and log in with this. And we're all logged in hundred percent. You can see that we're logged in. We have my account. We have the listings, everything's there. And then of course we can just log out by clicking on this button. So we have our Google login all correct and done. Let's do our Facebook. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on. And from here, you're going to click on this link right here, which is going to take you here. 
you're going to need to log into your Facebook and create a developer account if you haven't done so yet. Once you're done with that, you can create a new Facebook app. Let's go ahead and do a display name of website login. And we're going to go through their system to make sure I'm not a robot. All right, from there, we're going to click on Facebook login setup. And then we're going to click on the www web tab. We're going to type in the URL of our website right here. And we're going to hit save. All of this is stuff that we do not need, so all of this is unnecessary. Now we want to go over to settings and then basic. From here, we want to go ahead and paste in all of our terms and privacy policy. Choose a category over here. And then upload your app icon that's 1024 by 1024 pixels. This is going to be shown to all of your users when they log in and I'll show you where it where it shows them. Uh, business use, this app uses Facebook tools or data to support my own business. Go ahead and click that. And then we'll go ahead and hit save changes. From there, let's copy our app ID at the top right here after we turn this on, of course. Let's see, ah, because that's not valid. I don't actually have those pages, so I guess figure that out. So go ahead and save those with actual pages and then turn it on. Confirm to make it go public. You have it turned on. Copy your app ID here. Paste it right there in this section and click update. Let's go ahead and check it out. So let's go ahead and test this out. I'm going to sign in, choose Facebook. We have this right here. Website login, receive your profile, name, picture, email, address, all the good stuff. Continue as, and they're gonna click that. And once they're done, it's going to redirect them to their profile. So they have all of their settings here, my account. You're all good to go here. You have both Facebook, you can log out here. Then we're going to assign it as Google, just like that. So we can do Google or Facebook. Either one are both available. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I will see you guys at the next one.